1. What is the term for the dose of a chemical that causes death in 50% of exposed test animals? A. ED50 B. LD50 C. N. O. A. E. L. D. L. O. A. E. L. Two. What is the primary organ affected by toluene exposure? A. Liver. B. Kidney. C. Central nervous system. D. Lungs. Three. Which of the following is an example of a systemic toxin? A. Asbestos. B. Benzene. C. Silica. D. Noise. Four. Which principle describes the concept that the dose makes the poison? A. Hormesis. B. Paracelsus principle. C. Biotransformation. D. Synergism. Five. What is the term for the body's process of converting chemicals into more water-soluble compounds? A. Absorption B. Biotransformation C. Distribution D. Excretion Six. What is the main purpose of a local exhaust ventilation or LEV system? A. Circulate air within a workspace. B. Remove contaminants at their source. C. Reduce temperature in a workspace. D. Increase ambient air pressure. Seven. Which component of a ventilation system determines the airflow direction? A. Hood. B. Duct. C. Damper. D. Fan. Eight. The recommended face velocity for a laboratory fume hood is typically A. 50 to 100 feet per minute B. 100 to 150 feet per minute C. 150 to 200 feet per minute D. 200 to 250 feet per minute Nine. What type of airflow is best for controlling welding fumes? A. Dilution ventilation. B. Local exhaust ventilation. C. Recirculation. D. Ambient air cleaners. Ten. Which unit measures static pressure in ventilation systems? A. Cubic feet per minute. B. Inches of water gauge. C. Pounds per square inch. 
D. Pascals. Eleven. Which of the following frequencies are most damaging to human hearing? A. One to four kilohertz. B. Ten to fifteen kilohertz. C. 15 to 20 kilohertz. D. 100 to 500 kilohertz. Twelve. The threshold limit value or TLV for an eight-hour time-weighted average or TWA noise exposure is A. 75 decibel A weighted. B. 85 decibel A weighted. C. 90 decibel A weighted. D. 95 decibel A weighted. 13. What type of hearing protection provides the highest noise reduction rating or NRR? A. Foam earplugs. B. Earmuffs. C. Semi insert earplugs. D. Custom molded earplugs. 14. Vibration induced white finger or VWF is associated with exposure to. A. Whole body vibration. B. Hand arm vibration. C. Low frequency noise. D. High frequency noise. 15. What instrument is used to measure noise levels in a workplace? A. Dosimeter. B. Sound level meter. C. Audiometer. D. Vibration meter. 16. What is the purpose of a material safety data sheet or MSDS? A. To specify ventilation requirements. B. To outline safe handling practices for chemicals. C. To summarize personal protective equipment or PPE standards. D. To provide fire extinguisher instructions. 17. Which type of respirator offers the highest level of protection against airborne hazards? A. N95 filtering face piece. B. Powered air purifying respirator or PAPR. C. Supplied air respirator or SAR. D. Half-face elastomeric respirator. 18. Which chemical exposure limit represents the maximum concentration to which workers can be exposed continuously without adverse effects? A. Pell. B. TLVTWA. C. Ceiling limit. D. Stell. 19. A confined space must meet which of the following criteria? A. Is designed for continuous worker occupancy. B. Has limited entry and exit points. C. 
contains only physical hazards. D. Requires no special training to enter. Twenty. What type of sampling device is commonly used for personal air monitoring? A. Impinger B. Sorbent tube C. Gas chromatograph D. Flame ionization detector Twenty one. Which disease is caused by long term exposure to crystalline silica? A. Asbestosis. B. Silicosis. C. Mesothelioma. D. Pneumoconiosis. 'CIH The certified industrial hygienist or CIH is a professional credential awarded by the American Board of Industrial Hygiene or ABIH to individuals who demonstrate expertise in the field of industrial hygiene. Industrial hygiene focuses on identifying, evaluating, and controlling environmental factors and workplace conditions that may cause injury, illness, or discomfort to workers or the community. Here are five top beneficial uses of CIH. 1. Professional credibility and recognition. The CIH certification establishes you as a recognized expert in industrial hygiene, giving employers and clients confidence in your skills and knowledge. 2. Career advancement opportunities. CIH certified professionals are often eligible for higher level positions, leadership roles, and increased responsibilities in workplace health and safety. 3. Increased earning potential. Certified professionals typically earn higher salaries compared to non certified counterparts, as the CIH credential signifies advanced expertise and competence. 4. Broader career options. A CIH certification opens doors to various industries, including manufacturing, healthcare, construction, government, and consulting, allowing for diverse career opportunities. 5. Enhanced Problem Solving Skills Through rigorous training and testing, CIH professionals develop advanced skills in hazard identification, risk assessment, and mitigation strategies, contributing to safer and healthier work environments.